bottles of beer on the wall, hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by turning on into. Well, then we wouldn't have our entry. No, I know, I'm just curious. Ah, hello again. And welcome to French Whores Beer Mystery Reviews. Yeah, it's like mystery 21 or two, something like that. Maybe 21 and a half, perhaps. In the way this works. Oh, by the way, I'm Scott. Are you? Yeah. Oh, I'm Jeff. Hops the Frog is here holding mystery beer. Jeff's, yep. Jeff's going this time. I wrote down notes on this beer. He's going to try to guess stuff about it. Style, alcohol, percentage, IBUs, if available. Yep. That kind of stuff. If it's a and seltzer, then we're gonna score what flavor. And at the end of the review, we do our French Hoods Beer Reviews Untap Recap. If you're friends with us, FHBR, we will read your score and yes, give the global and average. And your name and any comment you may have made. About so we're going to get right into this. I picked this one up today at a local store. Um, I've never had this particular beer before, but we have had stuff from the brewery before. All right. I was going to originally uh, do a, a different beer for the mystery review, and when I looked it up, there was absolutely no information except the alcohol percentage. So that wouldn't be really all that fun to, there wouldn't be much to guess. I wouldn't know what to say. Right. Because I'd be guessing too. It is a thin, it, when you were pouring it, it was very like, not as dark as I wanted it to be for a stout or a porter. Okay. But I don't think it's a brown ale. But I don't know. I gotta go brown ale. Just from the looks? Yeah. All right. By the looks. We'll see what happens, I guess. When I can see that, because it does look... Could be a porter. It does look a little tin. Interesting when I know the information. It's a weird. <laughs> it smells like Coca-Cola and root beer mixed. Oh, okay, Cola. Yeah. Picking up anything specific? Coca Cola or root beer? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, cherry? That's what I'm smelling. Cherry Coke. <laughs> yeah. With root beer. All right, well, that's where I am right now. Confusion. I confusion beer right I now. can't get any, uh, I can't get past this. I can't. I can't blame him. Cheers. We'll see. Oh, it, it's pleasant. It tastes um, much better than it smelled. Yeah. What is that flavor, though? Is there any coffee? A little bit of coffee in the back? I taste coffee on the back of it. I'm leaning towards porter because there's that like chocolatey note to it. It's very rich. It's creamier than I thought it was going to be yeah. by looking at it and yeah. everything. Let's skip style-wise. Yeah. What about alcohol That's percentage, what I was, I IBUs? Was, IBUs I'll never be able to get, like 23, <laughs> okay. 25, under 30, I'll say that. All right. It's actually decent tasting. The more I have of it, it it's kind of, it is pleasant tasting, like you said. Mm-hmm. What is that fucking it doesn't blow me away, but I, I, like I, I'm not like I don't want to finish this. It's it's pretty good. I'm gonna go like six percent alcohol. Okay. <clears throat> and a porter. I said that right. I'm leaning towards porter over brown ale. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna kick myself for that though. But I'll give it a blind taste test of a uh, score of. Uh, I'll give it a three and a half. I'm not tasting what they described. Okay. But I do kind of like it. I'm somewhat close to you. I think I'm like a three, three seven. I feel like I'm drinking a soda. It does have a soda kind of. I'm going to go three seven on this. It gets some uniqueness points for me. Because <laughs> it's very different. Is this a uh, Springdale or Jack's Abbey or whatever? No. no. Um, so you're going with Porter? Yeah. This is a hard one. I, I picked it because it was different, but it's not tasting as it writes up. So. 
All right, our average is a 3.6 French Chaws beer review score. Um, and like I said, follow us on Untapped, and um, after we're done the reveal, we will switch over to, to our review like, yep. like that. So here we go. You take all that time, and then you just rip it. This beer is from Stoneface ah. Brewing, which we've had yeah. a few from. Yeah. And they've overall... Oh, that's why. Somewhat decent. It's a stout. Milk stout, which explains the creaminess. Ooh, I missed all of it. So we have... Chai tea, that's that damn taste. <laughs> Stoneface Brewing Company out of Newington, New Hampshire. This is their milk stout, and they have a bunch of different versions. This is with the chai tea. Um, they said that this is supposed to have flavors of cinnamon, cloves, and ginger. Do you, is that ginger that you were tasting? Maybe cardamom. Maybe all of them blend I can see together. a little ginger. I don't, I'm not getting cloves or cinnamon. I'm wondering if it's the cardamom too with the ginger and all that. That's so they thing. list this as a milk stout, obviously. Mm. Um, I, Alcohol percentage, 6.5, you guessed around 6, so they were, you were pretty yeah, good there. I've done IBUs, better. they have listed at 48, and you said around 25. Um, creamy, you did say, and I thought, oh, maybe he's going to... Maybe he's going to guess the milk stout, but... To me, it's not dark enough to be a stout, bro. It's not creamy enough to be a milk stout in my mind. Right. But look how thin and brown that is. It does look like a brown ale. Or even like a light porter. It does look like a brown ale to me. I did get some chocolate in there, too. <laughs> um, thin co Coke and root beer aroma with cherry. I smelled that, too, when you said that. Um, so this is a, it's a strange beer, but not bad. No, that's all right. Yeah, so Stoneface Brewings, Milk Stout with Chai Tea. We were a 3.6 um, average and, um, you know, a hard one. So I, <laughs> I can't really uh, make fun of me. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I was going to give you a, a straightforward uh, New England IPA, but what fun is that? In a mystery review. I mean, Trouble. right when you pour it, you can tell it's, yeah. it is what it is. Yeah. So that wraps up uh, this mystery review, and we will head over to our French Rose Bear Review Untapped Recap now. Yes. So, thanks. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time if we don't see you again in a minute. <laughs> um. All right. Welcome back to the French Oz Bear Review's Untapped Recap was a uh, mystery bear this time, <laughs> and uh, Jeff struggled through this difficult, challenging, yes. unique beer, which is... Uh, the Stone Face Brewing Company's uh, Milk Stout with Chai Tea. Yes. Uh, our average was a 3.6. Um, go ahead. We have one friend that checked it in. Yes. Uh, Renee D. Gave it a four? Yep. So am I reading that right? Yeah. I, okay. Everything's backwards the way I wrote it. <laughs> uh, 206 other Homo sapiens decided this beer you should sure? be scored at a 3.81. Um, yes. So we were somewhat close. Yeah. We've been worse. Um, and I kind of agree with that average. I like that average. It's. I like our average. Yeah. We're better. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being our friend, Renee. Otherwise, we would have had no friends on this one. And that's yeah. sad when we have no friends. It's never fr fun to be alone. So join the FHBR army on Untapped. Actually, it's a lot of fun to be alone sometimes. <laughs> I have a lot of fun. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great night. We'll see you next time. Oh!